closed-in weapons, which range from automatic cannons that practically tear their target to pieces, to incredibly nimble missile systems, are a vessel's last line of defense against anything hostile above the waterline that is dangerously close. What is a Sea Wiz? Can the Sea Wiz destroy missiles? And how many missiles can the Phalanx Sea Wiz theoretically shoot down before it's ran out of ammo? Stay tuned as we'll be answering all of these in today's video. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, kindly note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Without further ado, let's dive in. Sea Wiz is designed to attack anti-ship cruise missiles and fixed-wing aircrafts at close range. Phalanx is the most widely distributed Sea Wiz in the world, having been exported to various nations. Phalanx, like other close-in weapon systems, provide a terminal defense for ships against anti-ship missiles that have gotten past other fleet defenses. Phalanx is a self-contained device that just requires a small amount of deck area and wiring to operate. Phalanx, unlike many other Sea Wiz, combines search, detection, threat evaluation, acquisition, track, shooting, target destruction, kill assessment, and ceasefire into a single mounting. The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System was created as a final line of automated weapon defense against anti-ship missiles, such as High g and maneuvering sea skimmers. In 1973, the U.S. Navy received the first prototype system for assessment on the USS King, and it was decided that an additional enhancements were needed to improve the performance and dependability. Following that, in 1977, the Phalanx Operational Sustainability Model passed operational test and evaluation on board the USS Bigelow. OSM performed better than expected in terms of operational maintenance, dependency, and availability. Opval was followed by DSARC-3, which was approved for production in 1978. Orders for 23 U.S. Navy and 14 foreign military sales units kicked off production of the Phalanx. In 1980, the USS Coral Sea was the first ship to be fully equipped. In 1984, the Navy began installing SeaWiz systems aboard non-combatant ships. The system is based on the 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling Gun Autocannon, which has been employed by the U.S. military in practically all fighter aircraft and one land installation the M163 VADS since the 1960s, and is coupled to a crew band radar system for target acquisition and tracking. To track incoming targets, this proven technology was paired with a custom-made mounting capable of quick elevation and traverse rates. The mounting is a self-contained device that holds the gun, an automated fire control system, and all other essential components, allowing it to employ its computer-controlled radar system to automatically search for, detect, track, engage, and confirm kills. Phalanx is useful for supporting ships that lack integrated targeting systems and have restricted sensors due to its self-contained nature. The total mass of the unit is between 5,500 and 6,100 kilograms. The Sea Wiz is meant to defend against anti-ship missiles as the last line of defense. Due to design restrictions, its effective range is quite limited compared to modern ASM ranging from 1 to 5 nautical miles. The gun mount travels at breakneck speed and with pinpoint accuracy. The technology requires very little input from the spacecraft, allowing it to work even if the ship is damaged. Only 440 AC three-phase electricity at 60 Hz and water for electronics cooling are required for functioning. It also features inputs for the correct compass ship's heading and 115 volt AC for the pass subsystem for full operation, including certain non-essential tasks. To engage targets, the Sea Wiz features two antenna that work together. On the weapon control group, the first antenna for searching is positioned inside the radium on top of the white painted portion. The search subsystem feeds the Sea Wiz computer with information on possible targets bearing, range, velocity, direction, and altitude. This data is evaluated to decide whether the Sea Wiz system should engage the detected object. The mount moves to face the target and then hands the target over to the tracking antenna once the computer has identified a suitable target. The tracking antenna is very exact, however, it only sees a small region. The tracking subsystem monitors the target until the computer concludes that the likelihood of a successful hit is maximized, at which point the system either fires automatically or recommends firing to the operator, depending on the operator's conditions. The technology tracks incoming rounds and walks them onto the target as they are fired. The hydraulically powered Block Zero Sea Wiz mount fires at a rate of 3,000 rounds per minute and has a magazine drum capacity of 989 shots. The Block One Sea Wiz mount also fired at 3,000 rounds per minute and included a 1,550 round extended magazine drum. 
With a 1,550 round magazine, the Block 1A and newer Seawiz mount fire at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. The projectiles fired has a velocity of around 3,600 feet per second. Armor-piercing tungsten penetrator rounds of depleted uranium rounds with sabots are used. The Phalanx Seawiz 20mm rounds are meant to degrade a missile's airframe and render its aerodynamic and effectively reducing shrapnel from the bursting projectile to reduce collateral damage. There are two conveyor belt systems in the ammo handling system. The first feeds the gun with the bullets from the magazine drum, while the second feeds the drum with empty shells or unfired rounds. Because threats in computer technology are always evolving, the Phalanx system, like most military systems, have gone through a number of different configurations. Block Zero, with the first generation solid state electronics and minimal performance against surface targets, is the most basic type. Radar, ammo, rate of fire, extending engagement elevation to 70 plus degrees, and computing were all improved in the Block 1 upgrade. The system's capability against forthcoming Russian supersonic anti-ship missiles was to be improved with these upgrades. A new computer system was implemented in the Block 1A to fight more maneuverable targets. A forward-facing infrared sensor is added to the Block 1B PSOM to allow the weapon to be deployed against surface targets. This upgrade was created to increase the weapon's performance against slower, low-flying aircraft and to provide ship defense against small vessel threats and other floaters in coastal areas. The flare's capability can also be used to counter low observability missiles, and it can be coupled with the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile system to extend the range and accuracy of RAM engagements. An operator can also use Block 1B to visually identify and target threats. All of the United States Phalanx systems are being upgraded to the Block 1B configuration. Other natives that operate Block 1B include Canada, Portugal, Japan, Egypt, Bahrain, and the United Kingdom. Raytheon Missile System was granted a $260 million contract by the U.S. Navy in May of 2009 to do the modifications and other work on the Phalanx. The project is scheduled to be completed in September of 2012. The Counter-Rocket Artillery Motor System, a new Phalanx modification designed to handle small motor and rocket threats, has recently entered service with the U.S. Army. General Peter Shoemaker, the Army Chief of Staff, requested the system in 2004 because he saw a better way to defend U.S. troops stationed in Iraq. The CRM system connects a ground-based version of the Phalanx with the Army Lightweight Counter Motor Radar and a Q36 Target Acquisition Radar, which detects incoming rounds and pinpoints their origin. When CRM detects an approaching round, it activates strobe lights to warn nearby employees to take cover, orders the modified Phalanx to fire explosive bullets to destroy the projectile, and dispatches a Hunter UAV with Viper Strike laser-designated projectiles to kill whoever shot it. Raytheon is actively marketing Centurion TM, a trailer-mounted version of the Phalanx as part of the CRAM program. The CRAM version of Phalanx, unlike the naval version, does not use solid tungsten penetrators. Instead, self-destructing explosive bullets are used to limit the possibility of civilian and friendly casualties. The first two CRAM systems arrived in Iraq in May of 2005, and are said to have successfully stopped incoming motor rounds. The Israeli military expressed interest in this weapon, as well as Sky Shield the land-based counterpart of the Millennium System in September 2006. What are your thoughts on the Phalanx? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos.